The date is finally here. Mickey's Toontown will be reopening on March 8, 2023. This may cause a lot of confusion because Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway opens on January 27, 2023. Myself and a lot of others assumed the whole land will open with the attraction, but this actually wasn't the case. So Runaway Railway will actually open ahead of Mickey's Toontown on January 27, and it'll coincide with the Disney Company's 100th year celebration. So with Mickey's Toontown, we're going to be receiving a lot of changes. Toontown will be more open. It'll have a lot of grassy areas for kids to run around and play. Also, this will give a chance for the adults to sit back, relax, enjoy a meal. One of these grassy areas will actually be called Centennial Park, and this will be the first space guests will see when they enter the land. Centennial Park will be anchored by two new interactive play experiences, which will be a fountain featuring water tables designed for play, and also the dream tree. This is just going to be a giant tree with a bunch of sculpted roots and little interactive things inside of it. It's going to be perfect for the little ones because it offers things to crawl through, little interactive obstacles. Goofy's house and Donald's boat have been upgraded and behind Goofy's house will be a new Goofy's how to play yard. In Goofy's yard there's going to be a sound garden and an elevated clubhouse. The inside of Goofy's house looks a lot more detailed. In fact there's going to be a new interactive candy making machine. Donald's boat also received received a new experience to it. It's called Donald's Duck Pond. The story behind it is Donald's boat has crashed into a duck pond, creating a water play area called Donald's Duck Pond. This will be featuring giant spinning water lilies, balance beams, and rocking toys. And from the outside, guests can look into the flooded boat through the portholes and interact with Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby. Gadget's Go Coaster is also somewhat receiving a change. It's now going to be called Chippendale's Gadget Coaster. Chippendale's treehouse was actually actually demolished and won't be returning with the land, so it's nice that they somewhat still include Chippendale into the land. There weren't any updates with Mickey and Minnie's house, but it's nice to know that we're going to be able to walk into their house and meet Mickey and Minnie inside of their house. There's also going to be two new restaurants that come with the land, one being Cafe Daisy. Cafe Daisy is actually going to be really nice because it offers some diner classics, so like a hamburger or a milkshake, and there's another restaurant called Toontown Farmer's Market, and this is a very quick grab-and-go eatery. You're just going to be able to pick up some drinks and some treats. Now let's talk about the elephant in the room. Magic Key sales have ended. It only lasted about a day and a half. So I want to say a quick congratulations to everyone that was able to purchase one and hopefully we'll be receiving more Magic Key sales very soon. One thing that's really nice is that Disneyland Resort guests can now cancel their dining reservations on the same day with no penalty. I really hope they can implement same day reservation cancellations for Magic Keys. That would be so helpful. Beginning today, if you're heading to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, you'll finally be able to meet both Mandalorian and Grogu. Speaking of bounty hunters and the Mandalorian, if you have purchased the new Magic Band Plus, be sure to download the Play Disney app and play the new Bounty Hunters game exclusive to Magic Band Plus holders. I recently purchased my Magic Band and it's been nothing but useful for me. Instead of spending a lot of time in having to pull out your Magic Key or Ticket, the Magic Band really makes things a lot more useful in terms of scanning yourself into the park. And if you do purchase Genie Plus, it comes in handy with scanning your Lightning Lane reservations. Your Magic Band also interacts with its surrounding. Let's say you're riding a ride or watching a show, your magic band will vibrate or illuminate different colors. I think it's really cool and I feel like it just adds on to your experience at Disneyland. That's gonna wrap up today's video. If you want to stay informed with both Disney and Universal information, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm GP and that's a wrap.